Hi, welcome to AR Current Small Guru. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how you can use Inventor uh, to model parts like uh, the one I'm showing. So we'll start with a new part file. I can either go to File and then New, and I have to select Standard dot IPT. IPT stands for Inter Inventor Part. Whereas dot .iam stands for assembly, inventor all assembly. So I started. By default, it will give me a sketch mode. So in inventor, there's a funda called. Uh, you have sketch mode and you have part feature mode. So whatever mode you are in, or rather environment that is listed here. So you can see that this is a 2D sketch environment. Okay, we can start with a circle. I click on circle. Okay, there are two ways of uh, arranging your, uh, this is called panel bar and this is your browser. So panel bar could be just icons. If you select this, it will just show you the icons and if you hover on it, it will give you the tool tips. And since you are uh, beginning, uh, I would suggest you go for uh, display text with icons till you get used to it. So uh, I'm interested in a circle which can be drawn in uh, different uh, ways. So we'll go with a center point circle. This is the center. I click on it and then I have to click, uh, say I'll go for, okay. This could make it uh, one inch in diameter. That's basically the unit of this is uh, one inch now. So this is one inch in dia. So this is a sketch mode. Now I have to go back to the part mode. So I can either uh, right click and say done or I could have used, uh, okay, now I have to right click and say finish sketch or I have to click on return. So return will take you to the previous environment. So we are back in the part environment and you could see that uh, all the sketch lines are gone. So now I'm interested in extrusion of this uh, circle and there's a shortcut key for isometric view. I click on F6. So I get a isometric view of the circle. So I click on extrude. So extrude by automatically uh, it uh, sees whether any feature is available for it to extrude. Since the circle was the only feature, it selected it by default. So I'm interested in giving a depth of say one inch, point one inch. So that would be, and uh, these are uh, the directions in which you want to have. So that is a zero reference. This is the forward direction, reverse direction, and uh, say half each so half in half of the depth in forward and half in uh, backward you also have uh, other uh, combinations you can use and uh, this is a uh, join these are the boolean operations you can do with uh, so i'll explain this uh, in the next tutorial and this is how you want so basically right now it is solid so if you just want a hollow thing you can go for that as well so we are interested in solid and i'll click on solid and I want that to be in front so I click OK so we have the simple extrusion done now I'm interested in getting a center of this uh, particular uh, plane so I click on select and after you click select you have to select the plane on which you want to draw the next sketch okay so the top surface of this uh, small cylinder we had is selected as sketch and now I can uh, for extrusion I need another circle so I click on this I go to center and uh, say arbitrarily I keep it like this now I'm not sure what is the dimension of this so for that I have a tool called uh, general dimension I click on it and uh, when you take it on uh, entities or say sketch it highlights so stating that this is diameter I click on it and I uh, have to again click so it gives me like this is a 0.5 uh, inch in dia so I double click on it and I set it to 0.25 uh, inch I say ok so that is uh, changed now I am done with this part I mean sketch I right click and say done for the dimension tool and again I say finish sketch so I go back to the sketch uh, sorry part module again I am interested in extrude Okay, now 
I have to select the entity. Sorry, the feature that I am interested to extrude. So right now it has two options: either the outer uh, concentric circle or the inner. So we are interested in this inner one. And uh, as you can see, these are the operations we have. If you say inside, it actually goes inside, and it would actually cut once the operation is done, or this is halfway through. and uh, this is a cut operation so if i have cut so it automatically goes in with the how much ever depth you gave so if it is 0.05 sorry it should be 0.05 then the depth is half of the actual depth of the cylinder so i will uh, i'm interested in extrude so i say join and uh, forward direction i click okay now we have uh, our first part ready so yeah this is the first part and uh, in next tutorial i am going to okay come up with the, this particular part and after that i will try to assemble both of them to form a simple pendulum yeah thanks for watching